Hi, right, Gadget UK here again. Just a short video to try and help people who may be facing the problem I've had here where Google AdSense are going to put payments on hold if you don't fill in the island tax information. Now this video is from the perspective of a UK resident. So living here in the UK, I need to fill the form in. My understanding is the point where you get the you know question about is there a tax treaty? You choose yes, and then below it asks you for some proof of residency. And if you follow the link down below, it's actually a post on Google's AdSense support network actually, but it's very hard to find. You'll see a post there, I'll show it on the screen here now, from the 30th, on the 30th of January from Rob Paul, and you've got to apply for the certificate of residency. You can see the link there to that. You need a government gateway login to do this. Now I already have one because I pay tax on my channel. I have to do that, you know, so I pay tax on everything from Google and from other forms of income that, uh, you know, relate to my channel, Patreon, etc. And he's explained there how to fill that in. And if it wasn't for Rob, there's no way most people would work this out. I mean, look at some of the things here, you know, you've got uh, further down on there. There's an article of double taxation for, you've got to reference the specific article within the treaty or whatever. It's absolutely ridiculous. There's no way most people would have worked this stuff out. And the key here is once you get that certificate of residency, yeah, you need to make sure the name perfectly matches the payment information in your Google AdSense account. So I went into mine a minute ago and I noticed that it was actually my channel name, not my full first, full middle, full surname, as per my tax documentation and as per my national insurance card. And I've gone and got my national insurance card out as well. You may need to submit a phot photograph of your tax, you know, your national insurance card, basically. That's what I'm referring to there, the card. And for good measure, I've just got my birth certificate as well, and all of the names have to match exactly. Not a short version of your first name, not an initial on your surname, everything has to match or they will reject it. But anyway, that's it in a nutshell. If you follow his guide there, that should work for you. It can take a few weeks to get the Certificate of Residency document and if you haven't got a login to the government website there you need that you know that gateway um, login whatever it is there'll be a link down below where you can request one of those and you need that first until you can log into the you know the official government website you can't request the document you may be able to phone to request the document and you know that might take longer to get to you i don't know anyway i hope you found that useful as i say see the link down below follow rob's guide and let me know in the comments down below, did this help you out? What problems have you had? Did you get rejected after you submitted that certificate?